Hello and welcome to day number 44 of our Travel Trader series and today I want to talk to you about something that I call uh, the home run trades. First of all we had a fabulous morning again so I did uh, free trades in uh, our index trades that we are doing uh, pretty much every day now and uh, they went very very well so we made 1830 euro in three different trades and uh, then I put on a position, a new position in uh, British pound euro and I'm very, very, um, um, my, my thought is that uh, British pound euro uh, or that the euro, uh, sorry, that the British pound is very undervalued and therefore the British pound will go up or the euro versus the British pound will go down depending on however you want to trade it. So I put in a trade uh, according to this and uh, that's uh, what I put on uh, before I did these um, morning trades in the index and then I went uh, downstairs when I was done with that index trading when it uh, became boring and I didn't want to anymore so because we already had our results and uh, I was having a coffee and I uh, was checking on some flights for some short trips so I really hope that my passport will come soon so I can uh, travel again and uh, go to a few different countries. Uh, Cyprus is really really nice but I love to be in different places so really looking forward to that and uh, during that time actually what happened uh, I checked uh, quickly on the British Pound Euro trade when I uh, went downstairs and was already doing well but then uh, as you can see behind me so that's the chart euro British pounds uh, on a daily basis so today we had that huge big red candle and literally while I was checking these flights uh, it uh, smashed down and uh, made uh, 1756 euro in uh, basically a few hours uh, like two or so and uh, I couldn't even react uh, fast enough otherwise when I would have seen that uh, earlier and uh, our uh, take profit order wouldn't have been there. I would have moved that and just uh, secured more and more profits because uh, that trade is likely to work out for another few days and it was intended to last a few days but uh, um, I'm not complaining about it so I'm really happy and uh, it's always great if you do something and you're immediately right you make a lot of money and then you just turn around and find something else but that's what I call a home run trade uh, so today uh, of course it's a bit lucky that it went down so far but it had a tendency of going down anyway since I uh, since it pr uh, broke through a support level I'll talk about uh, how to spot support and resistance and how to trade them in uh, one of the upcoming weekends when we have a bit more time to go into deeper knowledge and then I explain uh, what I saw, how I saw it and why it uh, turned out so well. So that's our home run trade uh, combined with our morning efforts. Uh, we are up 3,586 euro. And uh, then we had a bunch of open trades uh, that I opened over the last few days. So uh, I'll just give you the current results. Uh, euro, Japanese yen, uh, we are up 957 uh, euro at the moment, which is around some 116,000 yen. So it uh, looks very, very impressive. So maybe we get to a quarter of a million. I mean, it's still yen, but uh, hey, it's, uh, even that is uh, like a bit over 2,000 euro. So that's not too bad, but it uh, sounds great as a number. If you earn a quarter million in a few days, uh, that might be a great goal so let's see if we get down further we're already half the way through so it's absolutely possible next thing on our list is natural gas uh, coming back again uh, slowly so we're now at minus 234 euro uh, that's still okay um, we wait for it to go up further and to turn into the positive soon so everything's all right with that when we had uh, another position in coffee uh, that we opened yesterday, I think, yeah, yesterday. And uh, that went up really, really well because we are now up 811.75 euro. I already uh, secured like 300 euros in profit. So whatever happens now, I think uh, we will get out with uh, 250 or 300, I would have, it doesn't matter too much. 
we will always get out positive of that trade which is a great feeling and now we're just waiting how high it will go and how much money we could make out of it then cotton is currently at minus 239 euro 40 so that's uh, not behaving as nice as the others however uh, that's a trade that is supposed to last several days as well so no harm done it still has enough time one of my favorite currency trades us dollar canadian dollar uh, we uh, put that on i think yesterday as well and uh, we're currently down 141 euro uh, us dollar norwegian krona down 353 euro and 73 cents although we already were in the plus uh, in the positive so let's see how that turns out i'm still quite um, um, convinced that it will go down further it means if it goes down as we have a short position we will actually make money so we think that the norwegian krona over the next time will be stronger than the us dollar and that's when we will earn money and the other way around uh, the, if the us dollar would go up we would lose money so let's see uh, what happens over the next few days the last position that's open that we are trading is uh, soybeans uh, it's uh, currently at positive 624 euro so we are if you combine everything we are around two and a half thousand in the positive uh, with the three positive trades euro japanese yen 957 coffee 811 75 soybean 624 and if you deduct natural gas cotton us dollar can dollar and us dollar norwegian krona we are down uh let's uh, round it up that's 500 800 uh, roughly a thousand so we are positive uh, 1500 uh, that's already great but uh, i'm pretty convinced that uh, most of these trades will either turn around if they don't turn around we can always repair them so no harm done and uh, the other trades are already working out very well so let's focus on a few more trades over the next few days although we already have quite a lot so we have uh, seven positions already usually the maximum that i trade is uh, 10 so there's not too much room but uh, we still could get uh, like two or three great chances where we can go in so let's see what will happen over the next few days um, great thing uh, that we were a bit lucky today having our home run trade so great results tomorrow friday it's uh, the last trading day of the week uh, very very sad so we have a weekend off uh, where we well can enjoy the money we made and uh, then can come back on monday and get some more let's see how uh, friday treats us and uh, how well that goes and over the weekend i want to talk about a topic today i was talking to a trader who was interested in uh, doing a program and he reminded me of something that unfortunately is more a dark side of trading so there's some specific thing uh, where i tell all my students don't do it stay away from it and i give them all the reasons and why it happens and what happens and why i tell them to avoid it however it seems to become quite popular there are books coming out about it people teaching strategies in it so uh, i just want to share that with you so you can make your own opinion about the pros and the cons and if you are interested in knowing what that is well you get to watch the video on the weekend because that's when i was talking about it so thank you very much for watching i hope you have a fabulous evening and uh, i will be back tomorrow with an update of our current trades and i will post you the screenshot of today in a bit so you can see the results for yourself thank you very much for watching have a great time and goodbye